Welcome to our video podcast that was voted one of the best in the marketing research industry in 2019 and again in 2020. And this year, it's been designated by Feedspot as one of YouTube's very best locations if you're looking for market research information. This is a research business daily report. We are a daily research news video seen Monday, Wednesday, and Friday most weeks, presenting a news item that most likely you have not seen or heard before. We do rely on viewer support. We'll tell you at the end of today's video how you might go about being one of those people that does provide that. My name is Bob Lederer, and I'm in my 27th year as a respected voice in market research. Without any real data in my possession, I still feel I'm on solid ground in believing there have to be considerable differences between females and males when it comes to shopping attitudes and behaviors. But thankfully, our friend video mining president Rajiv Sharma has plenty of such information, and he forwarded some actual data that differentiates between genders in the shopping context. Rajiv confirmed that there are, quote, fundamental observed differences in how men and women shop, which he said include how they make purchase decisions at the shelf, how they navigate the store, and how they respond to varied promotions. Analysis by Sharma's video mining enterprise of behavioral data generated using AI from billions of store trips by men and women of all ages and ethnicities reveals several highly specific gender shopping differences. There are distinctly different shopping patterns to begin with. Women take longer shopping trips, and they are more inclined to shop to stock up on th items. Men make brief shopping trips, purposing very specific product categories. Environmental changes, for instance, COVID, can and do alter shopping activity. As an example, healthy snack nuts, which are typically a strong female domain, received a lot more male attention in 2020 and afterward because of the pandemic. At-the-shelf behavior is demonstrably unique. Although it varies by category, men may spend more time in a particular part of the store and then walk away, while women will languish in the aisle, read many labels, and then select one item. Supplementing the value of these data from a brand marketing perspective is some other vital knowledge. Defining these gender differences, quote, can also help drive strategies for store design, marketing, and merchandising that resonate better with shoppers and improve retail performance, says Sharma. And that is where a clear, unbiased understanding of those gender shopping differences has the widespread and deepest market meaning and value. That's a wrap on this edition of the Research Business Daily Report. We did mention at the start of RBDR today that we are looking for Patreon supporters, which means someone who is willing to provide a monthly contribution. The size is entirely up to you and no donation is too small. Please visit RBDR's exclusive crowdfunding platform at patreon.com slash RBDR, where you can decide the level of support that you think is appropriate. Whatever that may be, thank you. We hope you have a good research day, and we'll be here tomorrow and hopefully welcoming you back. And until then, please stay safe.